Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. In the last video, we got through the Founder stage. We also managed to extend out toward the elevator. I'm still trying to figure out um, what the radius is doing on this guy and what it's going to do going underneath. I've also started a couple of ambitious projects. Um, once this is completed, which should be this video, I'm going to send my drones over to do this big flattening project. It's going to create 300 waste rock, which, spoilers, is going to give me about 30 rare metals. Hey, look, if I can do that in time all the better. In fact, let's prioritize this. I'm actually going to bring over um, available analyzed. drones to start working on this, because if I can get the waste rock built up, the drones up here can come down, collect them, and bring them up to the rare metals refineries to do There's their job. More to the barren and General training, that's good, and low G tunnel supports will reduce the risk of cave-ins down below. I'm also getting the Logi excavation permits researched this video because I want to get under the underground. I want to start exploring stuff a little bit. RC Dozer is also going to be created. There's going to be research. Probably bring him up on a future rocket to get stuff done. I also got to do the, uh, the Logi fungi and I just got to do the quote-unquote low-end research projects because that's what's just available to me right now. Mm. This is what I was hoping for, right here, where the drones were just ferrying the materials right up to the uh, dumping site, and the drones coming up here, we're just able to put them in and fill this thing to the brim. Running a slight power deficit right now, which isn't too... Uh, this is during the day. This might become a problem. Now we got an asteroid moving out of range, not too worried about him right now. Right. Because we do have this guy operational. Um, hmm. So we're going to need another solar panel just to counter this. Put him down there. Solar panels, thankfully, just need metals to operate and metals for res or maintenance. We've got plenty. Oh, wow, that's done. Okay, then. Uh, turn you back on. Go get the uh, concrete we need for this. That was a lot of waste rock that I just created. Good. So there's still 40 waste rock here. Hopefully that was like all 300. That seemed like I burned through it very, very quickly. I've also got two other flattened projects I'm doing over here. Oh, that's going to need waste rock? That's bullshit. Resources are low. Cancel. No, no, no. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Weird. I was actually expecting Sector to scan. see, like, oh, you need to provide waste rock for this. Uh, well, hang on. Do a project down here. Let's try this. Start down here. Okay, colony boundaries reached. Research complete. There we go. We're going to get excess waste rock out of this guy. Yeah, this is mainly just anything I can get my... Uh, my guy... Uh, into. I was going to English it at some point. Still rank at minus three. Huh. Hmm. I think I need another wind turbine. I'm just going to put those three up next to this drone hub. Also, it is burning through my uh, machine Miles parts right now. Resource. So, we're now we've got the SETI satellite going. We're low machine parts. we got an extra 500 research for that. That's one of those little bonuses that we got going here. We've got all those done. Um, all sponsor goals. We're not going to hit this at this rate, just with how I think we're going right now. We've got the 30 uh, rare metals we can send back. It's an issue of getting the other 30 rare metals done in time. That's kind of the biggie. Sector scanned. Ooh, another anomaly. I'll take it. Ooh, it's another key. Dust storm approaching. I like keys. I don't like dust storms, though. Dust storms are bad. Oh. I also like stretching. Get your boat down here. 
you're producing food, that's good. I would love to start working like soybeans or something just to keep everything going. Let's see. Where do most of my folks work? More living space available. I also don't even have Loji high rises researched. I'm gonna move that up just so I can get a few more folks in here. And when I do get the metals deposit uh, research, even though it's not great, it's gonna be better than nothing. Okay. Up oh, here we go. Spy games. Probably bad things happening. Ooh. Operation Spy Games has delivered its first result. A huge data package revealing a new tech to us has been sent by our agent. Agent Trish Sanders evaluates she is well in the clear and hasn't attracted any suspicion. Meanwhile, a new opportunity presented itself. Two large cargo deliveries are planned to happen in the next week with a three-soul gap between them. Agent Sanders has gained access to their landing guide and software and can reroute one of the deliveries to make it look like a malfunction. Some prep is required. The hastier the operation, the bigger the risk. You've discovered a new technology. Um, act fast and secure the first shipment. Take your time and secure everything perfect. Secure the second shipment. And getting caught will be disastrous. Extract the agent. I'm going to go for the second shipment to see if they actually take a little bit of time Research to get done. Complete. You got farm automation. Ooh. That's way down here. So farm automation just essentially means we only Anomaly need analyzed. four people working here. There's more to the barren and hydroscopic vaporators that's up here and terraforming subsidies. I'll actually put hydroscopic vaporators because I can actually get more out of that by doing that there and let's see. Go ahead, bring him back. Okay, that area has been flattened. I really think I'm not producing enough waste rock, because I don't think 120 waste rock was pulled over here. I think the waste rock is being underreported right now. A little unfortunate. Um, I'm going to flatten this area out, too. This may actually cost me waste rock, so i got to be very, very careful how I do this. Yeah, required waste rock. Yeah, it's going to take seven waste rock to do that. So I'll hold off on that until we try to get as much as we can out the door. Resources are low. We are wow, we are out of machine parts. Sector That's an scanned. issue. Alright. Go scan that dude. Alright, we need seven concrete still over here. Hey, you. Come over here. Okay. We've moved out of range. That's fine. That one I'm not super, super concerned about because it's a rough life here on Mars. Um, oh, what do we got down here? Underground Mars quakes. We have a cave-in over here. Okay, we can actually request drones to clear the cave-in, but of course, we don't have any drones down here. All we have is this little explorer dude. Dust storm approaching. Interesting that it had to remind me that when I came back up, which is fine. All right, this is now being built. Hell yeah! All right, get your butt over here. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, wow. That's cool. Okay. So for this, we can actually send stuff underground and vice versa. Yeah, ooh, cool. You can actually order the materials. If you have prefabs of this stuff, you can actually send it underground. That's interesting. All right, you are going to need a few more drones. Resources Let's be honest, are you're going to need more. Just pack them all up. I know. Five, pack them up. Use the elevator. Paradox is offering us... I'll pull these up in a second. Let's get Crux out of here. They are off they want will offer us a ton of food for some metals. Damn it. Now, well, this happens. Um, Trish Sanders has been caught. Sanders with the posture in the wrong place. We would expect these circumstances will sour diplomatic relations with China. It happens. Um, okay, this is an issue we're going to run into. 
without the machine parts that anomaly we desperately need to get from Earth. Research. The explorer made a thorough scan of the anomaly site, but couldn't find anything unusual. Regrettably, it appears to be just unusual readings of a sensor glitch. That happens sometimes. It really does. All right, now let's head to the underground Resources because I have a have this stuff here. Let's drop down a universal depot here. Unpack them. These drones will transport everything over. Oh, that's right. One thing that has been uh, noticed with this part of the game wait, is that you can't um, you can't go up by fives in this one. You can only you can go up by ones and twos, which is kind of helpful, but at the same time really unhelpful, especially if you need to click through and up, send a bunch of stuff up. So this is now requesting all of these things, which is great because it's all right there. And I have drones that can do all that stuff. Bit odd. But it'll go ahead, it'll send this stuff up to the surface, Dust and then I'll use approaching. those guys to uh, look around a little bit. It is bringing stuff up every once in a while. I don't... I'm not huge on that. It's like, hey, just load everything up and bring it up in one shot. That I'm okay with. Let's shut off the water. Yeah, um, the water is about to become a very big issue for us because we don't have the machine parts. Oh yeah, we're actually going to be in a lot of trouble here because without the machine parts, actually, wait a minute, hang on. Do I have micro machine parts factories yet? No, I don't. Crap. Okay, research. If I outsource this, it'll take me three days to research, which is going to kick my ass. Okay. Um, crap. Uh, I am in a corner right now, and it's not good. <clears throat> even with the rocket, even with the next rocket I bring up, I'm going to have problems. Because this thing needs water. This is only producing enough water to essentially maintain Sector itself, scanned. and the dust storm has now shut it all offline. Resources um, are low. It's two days. Thirteen hours worth of water. We're in a lot, we're in a heap of trouble right now. But that, whoops. That, re, that beaker will help us get us closer to that. We're actually gonna, this is, um, this is a bit of an issue. I've got metals to do machine parts factories. Machine parts factories take a ton of power, though. They take about 50 power each uh, soul. Yeah, and any Funding power breaks received. we can do at the local level. Okay, they're back. I was talking about bringing something else up. I can do a prefab, 400 million, or I can build it locally. That's what I was gonna do. I need to bring up 100 for that, and as many as I can for this. Yikes. Okay. This guy's gonna come up. We're going to be in a lot of problems, though. Just, like, patch these things. Let's go. Shut down those extra facilities. I need these guys to operate if they can. Thousand flat research. I'll take it. Back into the underground. All right. Let's try where some of these cave-ins are. Okay, right here. Now, it doesn't tell us with the cave-ins. Um, it's not producing waste rock. I've noticed that, which I think would be a good thing if it did do that. 
I'll send hey, uh, I want to call him hey hey, he's not hey hey. This guy's actually decent. My thought process being, oh, is it, this may be enough for a dome down here. Anomaly found. Take it. Let's see what else is around here first. Yeah, okay. You guys come on over here. I'm just going to use these guys to clear up around the... We've got six warning notifications up top, mind you. Clear it out. Clear them out. We'll see what this one is, then we'll head up top side. I've just got a bad feeling of how bad it's going to be when I get up there. Oh, it is producing waste rock. Perfect. Okay, cool. Anomaly found. Um. Okay. We discovered a vibrating stalactite. These vibrations are hard to detect. We find no such readings surrounding the deposits. Our geologists are employing that we need to investigate further. Claiming it gives us insight into the times when Mars still had an atmosphere similar to Earth's. So we can do a flat thousand research and walk away, or take a physical sample. Oh, what the hell? What's life without risk? Research complete. Damn it. <laughs> hey, look. You guys are needed. <laughs> oh, we're, oh, yeah, he's right underneath it. Oh, man. Oh, what are the odds? All right, we're going to get him cleared up. Resources I'm going to head back up top now. side. Um, yeah, everything is gone. To, everything has gone shit here. Okay. Um, understandable. The are on the brink of oh, my. The, on, the Honestly, the problem is, like, we just don't have water right now. Because this guy's malfunctioned. I can't bring anything down right now. We have... Now we're losing power, so let's actually cut these guys down. These guys are offline. You're offline. I'm pretty much just turning off everything that doesn't immediately need to be working to get this unmessed up. Oh, wow, that's also the issue. We have one wind Research turbine still operating. Oh, a few wind turbines still operational. As soon as this dust storm ends, we can bring Resources folks down. But low. this colony is in deep shit. And this is really bad for the colony right now. And I'm like, oh man, if I had to start the colony over again because I screwed up this badly, not gonna lie, you gonna be a little pissed off. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Wow, another big cave. Rare metals. That's ooh, that's helpful. That could be clear with a dozer, I think. Anomaly found. Hey! Five thousand research. Research complete. Look at that. That just cleared up a bunch of stuff for us. Um, I would really have. I'd love for have something that's like outside buildings are super super easy now, and don't die. Um, is that general training I was looking for? I'm very worried about the upper, uh, about the topside colony, but there's not much I can do right now with it. So yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stay underground for a bit, keep my head in the sand. Hey, some polymers. That's helpful. Okay, let's pack these guys up. Come back down here. Come back down here. Anomaly let's see how bad found. it is up here. Uh, okay, thank God, dust storm is ending. Got a leak here, but we're not losing anything. Get your ass on the ground. Sweet. We're going here first. Resources are low. Confirm. Alright. This is an issue we're running into right now, is that this... Yeah, the, the crops are decaying right now is a bit of an issue. Um, let's actually go ahead, change priority, and get to the high-speed comm satellite, start that expedition, and immediately cancel it, because I don't have 100 fuel to spare. Okay, um, Japan is asking for the stupid. Sector scanned. Whoa. 
Okay, we'll get those two, then we'll grab that beaker. Uh, the colony's not dead. That's good. Uh, we do also have more people being uh, brought up. I could go... Ooh, hang on. So let's compare these two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six. Okay, yeah, this actually has more space. That works. Anomaly found. I'm gonna put that there. We found signs of native life. Uh, I'll do the 50 applicants because I'm gonna be bringing more people up here before the. Yeah, probably for the end of the video. Go up this way. Have you going 24/7? Unfortunately, because these guys are not um, functioning, it's a little hard for us to, you know, do anything with it. Let's go for a trade on... A lot of metals are food. Research complete. The first colonists are... Gambling trade. Not super concerned about them. Let's turn you guys on. And I'm absolutely going to do mag extraction for him. I need him operating during the next dust storm. Ugh. Anomaly this guy anomalies. in range? Oh! That's why I can't get anything to him. Okay. Let's grab that second drone hub prefab. Kind of put him right in there. That'll work. There's more to the barren. Conservation environment. landscaping. This one um, produces more waste rock. From uh, lowering ground and raising the ground takes less rock. I do think, though, that I kind of got hosed with those giant projects. I think I got a fraction of the materials I thought I was going to get. We also got Martian Born Adaptability unlocked and something else. So, um, I still think we are... This game does have a few bugs right now. Just seeing what we've got so far, obviously... This being bugged at 30%, Resources at are max low. 30, even though we have the research done to make it 45. For some reason, that's still not being done properly. Um, Sector scanned. Ooh, breakthrough. Hold off on you, because if that's the Oval Dome, I'm just going to go for the Oval Dome. And, oh, wow, this guy's even taking the high road. This drone hub is right on the edge, so I could actually do this giant project to produce waste rock. But, yeah, this said it was going to create 200 waste rock. I probably got 30. I, th I really think this was glitched. And the reason it's not really, uh... Oh, that's why. I've got a bunch of electronics here, but nothing's doing with it. Okay, this is done... I'm not going to lie. I'm going to get close to that 60 goal. I'm not going to fully get there because I got 18 on board. I needed to get 30. I needed to get 29 on board. I'm not going to get there, which is unfortunate. Had I Research complete. prioritized going for this site, but note, this, this was available when the map started, but there's no water around it. I would have had to gone all the way over to this sector to find water. There's water down here, too. Maybe if I landed in this sector, like right sector next to scan. here, because I have concrete, Break one metal. Discovered. There it is. Oh, don't woot! Absolutely doing that one first. Two rare metals deposits, water. I think if you do end up doing this map, if you go to uh, 20 south, 176 east, you want to work sectors E2 and F2 first. Because you've got concrete, you got rare metals, you put a dome right here flatten this area out, and you could have two rare metals or uh, rare metals deposits right away. You can get the however many you're trying to get. Um, does it say export by 30 or by the end of soul 30? Okay, so I think I have to leave like 27, 28. I'll stay as long as I can here. Let's get rid of that because if I can um, get that for a little cheaper, I totally am going to. Oh, wait, here, look, here's an anomaly that I can do it for. Um, we'll head back down Resources below for the moment. Power is a problem down here, which isn't too much of an issue. Now, I know there's some cave-ins down here. Let's find them and get these get this guy to clear them out for us. 
I'm sorry, you can only do one at a time with these guys. Bit odd, but it works. Unpack. Now, had I gone for the temporary anomaly thing, and this guy was available down here, I would have tried to go for this. I do want to still go this way, see what might have been over here. That way, if I do need to come back this way, it's like, wow, 53,000 water, that's helpful. A research site for a dome, that's always good. Pack up, bring you all in. Wow, that's a really tiny spot. I don't even know what that research thing was. A bunch of things just popped up on the upper ground. What the hell's going Resources on up here? Resources are low. What the fuck just happened? Oh. That's a problem. Let's go ahead and bring that guy back up here. So, what has happened is very, very bad. Um, this has been destroyed, and all the power is leaking out here. So... Let's do that. And have you... Can't find the required resources. You need a metal. Alright. I've had, I haven't had to do this one before. Go ahead, grab a metal. We still have a massive leak here. Get that. Fix this. So what I'm going to do is I'm essentially going to make this a... I'm going to do a power switch. Oh, this guy was able to do it. That's a problem. Right. Our colonists are suffering from hyper... So, what happened there was a meteor came down, took out my drone hub, and caused a crap load of problems. <sighs> Research complete. Right, dome streamlining is done. I did also lose one I also lost my drone hub down here, which sucks. Resources are low. Pack it up guys, let's go. He'll make it back up eventually, but good god. This is a 300% uh, disaster playthrough, mind you. This is not one of these uber thousand... Uh, this isn't my last colony. I was running at 10-40%. No, this is like 300%, and I'm getting my ass handed to me like this. Um, not gonna lie, a little pissed off. Alright, barrel domes. Domes cost 50% less basic resources. That is not 50% less basic resources. So that's glitched too. Oh, thank you, game. Put it there. I'm gonna start working on... Oh, now, now it's popping up correctly. There we go. Weird stuff. Okay. Um, I think, honestly, this is the most I'm gonna get here. And it is Soul 27. I should send this guy back. Yeah, I'm gonna send him back. Unfortunate. I almost got there. And ah, oh, shit. I can't cancel you. No, nope, can't cancel the launch. So had I stayed a little longer, mind you, um, this is by the end of Soul Thirty. So if I can get nine more built up and get him back by the end of Soul Thirty, I might be able to get that mission accomplished. It's a tough one, mind you, but it's there. It doesn't also help that these things are constantly running out of ugh, running out of waste rock. 
and this thing screwed me. It really did. However, if you are going to play Brazil, if you are going to do this map, do not do this starting section. Come over to the west and do these two sections. E2, F2. 926 rare metals, 5,000 water, a bunch of concrete, there's metal on the ground, you can build up a dome real quick, get some colonists down here, work the rare metals, get them exported in time. That is possible. This colony, how I did it, I haven't even done a lot of mining yet, to be honest. I have, I have yet to build a single extractor so far. Sector scanned. In fact, that's probably what I should be doing, is building a metals extractor. I should have been doing this a long freaking time ago. I'm actually going to do it, like, right there. Because it's right next to that, and the dust will mainly just hit the rockets as it comes in. We're going to get po folks working on this. Um, I still have a little bit of food going, which, you know, I got that going for me, at least. Um... I don't know if I'm going to bring down folks with this next uh, launch. I may just bring back the rocket empty. Just switch off, you're fine. I think I can... I want to keep recording too, I really do. But if I'm only doing two videos a week right now for Surviving Mars, this is the last video for the week. I want to keep playing though, I really do. Next video, we're going to try, keyword, to get that last little bit done. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.